In May 1907, the fifth Congress of the Russian Social Democratic Labour Party was held to debate strategy for a communist revolution in Russia. It had originally been intended to hold it in Denmark and then in Sweden, but under pressure from the Tsarist government in Russia, the delegates were refused entry. So they ended up here in Hackney, holding the conference symbolically opposite these factory gates. There's no sign now of the venue, the Brotherhood Chapel, the bare hall into which the 302 delegates filed. Perhaps we would prefer to forget the part Britain played in the making of the Russian Revolution of 1917. To find out more about the Congress, I've come to meet Professor William Fishman, historian of East London, who can show me the few surviving traces in the fabric of the East End. And this is a very interesting street indeed. Fulborn Street here. And this door, seemingly ordinary door. In May 1907, this door opened and a stream of men and women walked through this door, led by a balding little red-bearded Russian called Vladimir Ulyanov Lenin. And a little man called Joseph Tugashvili, pockmarked, bad arm, walked through that door. Stalin walked through that door, the only time he was in England, followed by Alexander Kollontai, Trotsky, and all the founding fathers and mothers the Soviet Union came in. So this is an unholy door. <laughs> there should be a, a, should be a plaque. A plaque. Yes. The Fifth Congress drew crowds eager to catch sight of a real revolutionary. The delegates were even invited to a reception in Chelsea, where they were toasted by future Labour Prime Minister Ramsay MacDonald. But their day-to-day -day existence was not so glamorous. This is where Stalin and Litvinov Stalin and Litvinov slept here at the At Dossa. the time of the Congress? Time of the Congress. Yes. In this Doss house, as it was. But it's an interesting story that I must tell. Stalin was, had a weakness. What was it, Stella? Women. Right. And he wanted a girl, for what, I don't know for what reason, I'm quite ignorant. And the, the nearest where girls were openly proclaiming their sexuality was by the river. Mainly there were poor Irish girls. So together with Litvinov, there to be his guide and guard, mm -hmm. they went down to Wapping. And coming out of the pub, there was a pretty Irish girl and Stalin went up to this girl and tried to chat her up. The Irish dockers who saw this, saw this foreigner, couldn't even speak the lingo, trying to chat up one of their girls came up and started beating Stalin up. Really? But who defended him? Litvinov. He virtually carried Stalin from the south in Wapping through these side streets right. and up there. And he way. virtually saved his skin. Really? So no, no lady that night, anyway? No. Move forward. <laughs> it's interesting to note that Stalin never spoke about his stay in London. 